Now let's talk about an algorithm that helps us to find the transitive closure of a relation R easily. Okay, it is known as Warshall's algorithm, and it proceeds as follows. Okay, we start off by creating W of zero, which is the same as the matrix representation of the relation R. Okay, then what we do is we individually create W1, W2, so on up till Wn is created. Okay, the transitive closure of R is given by the matrix representation of Wn. Okay, so let us see how these intermediate matrices w1 w2 w3 are created okay so for that we are going to look into this algorithm this algorithm says for k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 okay if a of i k and a of k j are present in w k then create w k plus 1 as follows then you add a of i j in w k plus 1 okay and for all other elements if you have a of i j in w k then a of i j is also present in w k plus 1 so you start off with w0 then w1 is going to contain let us suppose my w1 contains a of let us suppose 2 1 and it contains a of 1 3 okay if my w1 contains a of 2 1 and a of 1 3 then w 2 is going to contain a of 2 3 okay and it is also going to contain whatever is present in w1 so it is also going to contain a of 2 1 and a of 1 3 okay and what is this a of 2 3 it is let us assume my a is like this a1 a2 a3 up till a n right then a of 2 3 is basically a2 comma a3 okay so that is how you proceed in the Warshall's algorithm a wk plus 1 is created from wk by checking out if both these elements are present then we add this particular element and the rest of the elements are copied as it is from the wk finally when we have created wn then we have reached the transitive closure the transitive closure is given by the matrix representation of wn you can convert it back into a set form and you will get the transitive closure of your relation now let's take an example let us suppose that i have been given a relation okay and i have been asked to find the transitive relation for that or a transitive closure for that using Warshall's algorithm okay so let us see how we are going to proceed just look at this algorithm i have changed just one thing over here from 0 to n minus 1 i have made it to 1 to n and instead of wk i have written this as wk minus 1 and instead of wk plus 1 i have written this as wk okay so that is the change we have made so we are creating wk from wk minus 1 okay so initially we are going to start off with w0 so let us find out what is w0 we know that w0 is equal to matrix of r so let us create the matrix for r my w0 is going to be it is going to be a 6 by 6 matrix right because I have 6 elements in A so let's create 1 comma 3 this is 1 comma 1 which is going to be 0 1 comma 2 is going to be 0 1 comma 3 is 1 okay then I have 3 